Hey beauties, so this is a, <laughs> a weird tutorial for me to do, but I'm doing it because it needs to be done. Okay, so I have a really nice hair dryer, so it's like a nice hot tools hair dryer, really like it. And recently it has started like just turning off in the middle of when I'm using it. And then if I like move, it'll go back on, but it's like really annoying and it just keeps doing that. So, um, of course I like don't have like the instructions or anything like that, but I notice that it says, it says notice, uh, if your dryer unexpectedly stops or if it is not blowing hot air, turn it off, unplug it and clean the lint filter. Wait five minutes to cool down um, and then it should be fine. Um, so I have unplugged it and I watched a couple tutorials and so I took it and it has a filter on the back so I took it off but the filter's completely clean. It's still got like lint and stuff in there. And like this doesn't come off. So then I realized I'm gonna have to get like some tools and do some like seriousness here. So I realized that there's two spots, there's screws in it. So I, I went down to Sean's tool bench, cause he's, you know, he has tools. And I found some screwdrivers. And so I found one that fits. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Um, okay, so I took one out, so I'm hoping, because this is crappy, I don't know which type of screwdriver this is. One of them is a Phillips head and one of them's, I don't know, Joe's head, I don't know. But it's, it's not just the flat one, it's the other one. Um, okay, and I'm reaching in and unscrewing this because it's I just think that things should be able to be fixed it frustrates me a lot when something stops working or goes wrong with it and like the cheapest and easiest thing to do is completely replace it and I just ooh, I just feel like that's a pain in the butt and that's not how it should be we should be able to fix things you, you pay good money for something it should be fixable so thank goodness there's YouTube to teach me how to fix things that I don't want to buy a new version of okay so I have just taken God, I hope I don't break this. Okay, um, so I've just taken it. I think that's the only two screws, right? Okay, so now it's like kind of coming apart, sort of. I don't wanna break it. I just wanna open it up and see what's inside. Yeah, um, cause I know that there's a whole bunch of lint in there, but I can't run this underwater because this is the dryer. So what am I supposed to do? Um, I'm thinking that maybe this is not supposed to come apart, like, for me. Put the screws back in. Ugh. <sighs> when you think like that was so clever of me I like really figured something out then just dreams are crushed dreams crushed okay well I think in some cases you can unscrew it and take it apart and get in it that way but I really don't want to break it and so I think my other option is to put the screws back in and I guess just use like an old toothbrush. Or if you're really mad at your roommate or your spouse, their toothbrush. Um, and brush this out. So let's see, let's go do that. And even that, oh, tweezers might not be bad. Oh yeah. Okay, so tweezers. See how I got that one part out? It's probably oh, all that like Dry shampoo and hair gel. Oh, totally. Okay, good news, guys. You can just get a tweezer, reach in, pull the lint out. Lint hair, whatever. Oh, guys, we're so smart. Now watch this not fix it. Ha! <laughs> oh, my great. love how it tells you to clean it out without like 
helping you out with how to go about that. You know, like clean that out with your own tweezers and toothbrush and whatever. Hey, Michael. Guys, we did it! Yay! That is so glorious! Ah, oh, that was that was good. It was good, you guys. Okay. So now let me test it and see if it works. So let me put the little filter drone back on. Which, by the way, I mean, aside from looking cute, this thing served no purpose at all. It. I don't know if it's supposed to help, but. It is not effective, if, just for the record, not effective. It's still not working! That? See, all I have to do is move it. I move it and it turns off. I am mad. We just cleaned it. And we're supposed to fix it. right now. Okay, it's kind of working more now. I just have to adjust? Okay, I, I've not decided if that worked yet. I guess we'll just... <laughs> Dude! Dude. I'm like legit disappointed in that whole fiasco. I got out screwdrivers, I like opened it up and now I'm not even sure if that fixed it. Like still not even sure. Okay, but there is a moral. There is a moral because it was an adventure and I'm still, it might have fixed it and if it did, that's worth however much more time I get with it and not having to buy a new one. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna get the same exact one. So if you have any good hair dryer recommendations please leave them down below because I have a feeling I'm going to be on the hunt for one soon because I can't imagine that that's going to last. What a pain! Alright guys, <laughs> I hope this was uh, at, the l at the very least amusing to you. Maybe? Bye. <laughs>